So estimated profit, uh, that's the kind of main riff. Songs in 7-4 time, you can hear them count out a lot before it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> And for the majority of the verses and that kind of stuff, it's in F-sharp, natural, minor, which is the Aeolian mode. But when you listen to a lot of the jams at the end, they'll switch to Dorian the very end. Which just basically takes the sixth note of the scale, F-sharp. So if you go F, G, A, B, C, the D goes up to D sharp at the end jam. But you start on the root, second fret, low E, minor third, the fifth. You just kind of walk off the pentatonic, two, five, and then the A string, two, four. So remember, this is in 7-4. You can kind of think about it as 4 and 3. So if you don't want to count the 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Which is interesting because they rhythmically do like a reggae thing on the 3-4 bar. And you would never really guess reggae to be in 3-4, but they make it work. So 2... F sharp, A, 2, 5, B, C sharp, 2, 4, then on the G string, 2, an A note to F sharp, 4th fret D string, then you do the same thing on the lower strings, so A, F sharp, E, 2nd fret D string, 4th fret A string, then you hit the F sharp, 4th fret the D string real quick, or listen. Yeah, and then walk down the pentatonic. B, second fret A string. A, fifth fret E, low E. And the rhythm thing I was talking about so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So on that 3-4 measure, or the last three beats of the 7-4, you kind of have this upstroke reggae. So you hold out the F-sharp minor. And then what I do, you can hear them always hammer on to that D, which keeps in natural minor. Like I said, the end, they kind of go to Dorian. The only thing that changes from Aeolian, which is your natural minor, to Dorian is the sixth degree goes up instead of so. Upstroke. Down, up, down, up. And then on the third one, you hammer on with, you don't, you can kind of remove the bar and just bar this part. Or I guess you could bar the whole thing, but you really just wanna it's almost like a D chord. If you know your cage system, this is kinda like the C shape. So you can think about it either as an F sharp with a sharp fifth. F sharp minor with a sharp fifth or like a D chord. And then they don't worry about me now. Just two oh, F sharp and E, second fret and open on the low E. And then it just walks up the, the F sharp minor scale. A, open A, B, C sharp. And uh, let's see, I haven't played the chorus in a while, but it modulates to G mixolydia and count. Yeah, see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G, G. Seven 
seven four the whole song. Or like I said, four four and three four. But I think about it in seven four. You can you know they do that because they count it off as one two three four five six seven one two three four five. G for five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, three G's, four, five, two F's, four, five, and then on six, seven, C. Just like Dorian just raises the sixth degree from minor, Mixolydian, Mixolydian, Baloney, Mixolydian is only one note different than major. So if we had G Mixolydian, the seventh note goes down a degree instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See how it gives us that F for the F chord? So it's the chorus. And he does these little, like, let's see if I can remember correctly. He does these, like, kind of double stop two note things where it's on the D and the B string. 10 and 10, I like the finger pick it, 10 and 10, slide to 12, slide, slide back down to 10, and then 9 on the D, and 8 on the B. In every version you would hear, he'll do like, a lot of them he'll do a variation of that, 10 and 10. The reason I like to use my fingers is, I mean, you can mute the G string, but it sounds In the May 77 versions I love, there's a... Slide into it, slide down, out of it. Cool. So we have that, and then we have the uh, kind of what goes into the solo, the... Bridge. Where it's D minor to E7. Real simple. 5, 5, 3, 5. D, 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 C, D. C, D, D, C, D. C, B, A. Then E, E, D, E, D, E. And then sometimes I'll hit that octave, ninth fret of the G string. So. Whoops. Then we have a. So that's an F arpeggio. I'm just kind of balling it. So it goes from F, 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 A, 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 B minor, D minor. You will see a pattern here on these minor chords. You start on a minor chord, go up three frets, then you go down to start from the one you started from. You go down two, up three, down two, up three. You'll see what I mean when you do it. B minor, D minor, A minor, C minor, G minor, B flat minor, and then he does F sharp, or F minor. Add that sharp fifth. And that releases 
this to the G real nicely. So one, just open third F major arpeggio. Then kind of do an A arpeggio. So F major to A major. A, five nine. 7, 7, 5, 9 on the low E, 7, 7 on the A and the D. <clears throat> and then, uh, and then, uh, I just kind of ball this part over that B minor, D minor, A minor, C minor. It's kind of go. Play D, uh, the B minor shape on the D, G, and B. D, G, and B. And we're gonna repeat this, and then down from E to D. After hitting the root. I'm just trying to think what I said earlier, if it's better to think 4-4 four, four, and 3-4, three, 3-4 four, three, four, and 4-4. Four, four. I would think 7-4, but that's basically it. And then they jam on the end and switch to Dorian, kind of. Hope that helps, guys. Have a great night.